Hey everyone, Nick Diabertis here teaching you financial modeling. And today we're going to be solving the LEB exercise on adding desired cash as a calculation into the dynamic salary Python model. So this is as part of the lecture series on the depth of a financial model in Python. And the lab exercise that we're talking about is here on this slide where we're just modifying the existing model to which took the desired cash as an input a certain dollar amount now we want to instead calculate the desired cash based on uh, some new inputs how much we can spend each year in retirement how long we're going to spend in retirement uh, as well as the existing uh, input of the interest rate so let's <clears throat> go over to the model and we can add this into it so we have the existing model here and i'm just going to restart kernel and run all cells to make sure that we have everything defined and then so desired cache we have here as an input but it's no longer going to be an input it's going to be a calculated value so i'm going to go ahead and just remove desired cache from those inputs and instead I'm going to add our new inputs. So years in retirement. Um, let's just um, default that to 20. Um, and then the uh, cash spend during retirement. Let's set that to 40,000. And then we have I'll rerun this cell and the other thing um, I will do is I will set uh, model data to data so that we can develop our functions out in the cells taking an input of data and then easily just wrap it up in a function so what we need to do is in two parts one is calculate the desired cash and the second is to then plug that into our existing model so i'm going to calculate the desired cash here as a subsection of the retirement section of the model uh, so i can put calculate desired cash here as a section and then uh, calculate your retirement as a section. So for the desired cash, we want to take the present value of the cash spend per year and the number of years, having a zero future value because we don't need any cash left over at the end. And we have that present value function available in NumPy. So I'm going to go back up to the top and I'm going to import NumPy as MP and then rerun that cell so that I have NumPy available to work with down here in the section where we're just calculating desired cash. So we can do MP.PV and shift tab brings up the inputs. So the first is going to be the interest rate. So that's going to be data dot interest rate, um, data dot, um, what is it? For some reason not coming up for me today. Um, yep, it is interest rate. So data dot interest rate. Um, did I run the, yeah, I ran this. So data dot interest rate is the first thing that we're passing here. The second argument is the number of periods. So that would be the um, <laughs> tab completion doesn't want to agree with me today. The cash spend during retirement. Or sorry, um, that would be the third argument. Payment is going to be the cash spend during retirement, negative of that. And the um, years in retirement is going to be our second argument, which is the number of periods over which we want to take this present value. Um, and then 
Uh, future value is going to take the default of zero because we don't need any cache at the end. So we run this and we see the desired cache here. So we can then wrap this up into a function, which is going to make it more clear what this is doing. So this is going to be a desired cache function. Um, or we can say get desired cache and it takes the data and we just ended this and add a return. And now we can call get desired cache on the data and it gets us that same value. Um, so, and you would want to, um, to display this within your model, you would want to put this inside a formatted string. Um, so I'm going to say, um, Martha needs, um, this much cash formatted with commas and zero decimal places in retirement. So now we have that printed out in a nice way if we add a print statement around that. So then we want to incorporate this into the actual calculation, where here it's using data.desiredCache, but we no longer have a data.desiredCache. So um, instead we can calculate the desired cache equal to get desired cache on the data. And then we want to just use that desired cache rather than accessing it from the data. And then this should at this point work all the way through. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the kernel and run all cells. And now we see uh, as soon as we go beyond this desired cache that indeed uh, Martha is able to retire in the following year. So that's the idea behind this lab exercise. We now have desired cache calculated uh, in part of the model and using those calculated values. So we can easily uh, pass other um, inputs. We could have said that uh, you know we needed 40 years in retirement instead. Now it's going to take an additional few years to save up that cash, uh, etc. So that is the solution to the lab exercise on extending the dynamic salary retirement model in Python. Thanks for listening and see you next time.